here to tell you how I built this guy. So I was sitting around with my husband thinking about how cool it would be to have a life-size gremlin and I looked online and oh my god they're so expensive like to buy an actual set piece and they're hard to find. So I'm an artist, I dabble, I build arts and crafts. I thought well heck I'm just gonna build my own gremlin and sitting around for months at a time quarantining and not really being able to go outside and getting all these deliveries from Amazon, I just decided to use the Amazon boxes and build a skeleton of a gremlin out of the cardboard. And I thought if I didn't like it, I could always throw it away. It's gonna get thrown away anyway. So I started to build it and it got creepier and creepier. And I thought, this is fantastic. I'm just gonna move forward with it. So I took the skeleton and stuffed like in the cardboard holes, a uh, little areas that were breathable, just the, some of the this uh, brown paper. You can crumble it up, stuff it in some of the gaps to fill it out to give yourself more muscle. And then afterwards for tissue, use some masking tape, which is great because you can always unravel it or re-ravel it if you mess up along the way. Once I got the tape uh, all wrapped up, I liked it so much I was kind of afraid to start paper mache. So we sat like that for a while and then I ordered uh, Dragon Eyes to get the visual of the eyeballs right. Cause my husband kept saying, well, what about the eyes? Are you gonna hand paint? How are you gonna make them look glassy? And so I looked online and ta-da, you can just purchase a whole pack of tons of these. So um, it just kind of went forward from there. And then I got the guts to go ahead and start paper macheing. Um, I've done paper mache before, but things like, just like a ma masks, uh, I've done, you know, other masks for friends and group cosplay, and it ended up coming out well, but I wasn't like a perfectionist. So I will recommend for people beginners and learning, uh, go on ultimatepapermache.com, and the lady on that website is wonderful to listen to and watch, very therapeutic and gives you really good ideas. She doesn't do crazy weird stuff like this, um, but she does animals and you, and you can learn and buy her patterns, support your artists. Her uh, information on the website is completely free for the paper mache, but definitely uh, purchase maybe some of her patterns to practice and that way the money is supporting artists and all of her work that she's doing. Because without her, I wouldn't have known, I wouldn't have known how to do this. Um, the, you know, sculpting the gremlin, I did myself and figured it out. Um, but to really get the paper mache down, the tips on her site are priceless. So here's my big old lump of paper mache clay. I got the recipe off of ultimatepapermache.com. It makes a lot, so I just saran wrap it up and I use it whenever I get a chance. I can wait two weeks, put it in a Ziploc, open it up, play around a little bit, and then it stores very well. Here's a sample of the 3M compound that I purchased. It goes on like an icing. It's really gonna make your sculpture look cool. You can go around curves and smooth out all the holes and bumps from the paper mache. This is the back of the gremlin. It's smooth as you can see down by the spine, but up at the shoulders, it's all paper mache clay still. So I used the 3M compound to smooth out all of those bumps and cracks. So pro tip, the 3M compound, once it dries, is crusty. Um, so take a wet paper towel and rub all over your sculpture. Give it a good massage and it will come out so smooth. Here's a before and after of the work and you can see a big difference. Once you've smoothed everything out, you're ready to paint. Tap into that inner Bob Ross. Um, I used gesso first. Then I did an undertone of yellows and browns and beiges. And then I added the dark green very carefully. And I added all the little minor details and just got in the cracks and grooves that I intentionally meant to be there and added texture. Have fun with it. Good luck, everybody. How you doing, Kelly? Good. Yeah? Yeah. I have weird news for you. What? There is a gremlin right above your head. Come on. Right oh. above <gasps> your head. <laughs>